Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create your cover for your children's book for Amazon KDP in Procreate. The first thing you'll need to do before you even open up Procreate is calculate the size for your cover. First, you can go to the KDP help page for create a paperback cover and scroll down to the spine measurement section. If you go down to spine measurements for color books, you'll see it's the page count times this number here. My book is 32 pages, and remember, the pages isn't the number of pieces of paper, it's actually the number of pages you'd get if you numbered the pages in your book. So I'll do 32 times the number from the previous page, and that comes out to 0 0.075104. So now that I have the spine width, I'll just add on the bleed for the back cover and the bleed for the front cover. This is the same for every book. It's 0.125, and then plus the width of the back cover and the width of the front cover, which for mine is 8.25 because that's the width of my book. If you have a different size for your book, then you'll enter that size. So the final result is 16.825. For the height, that's going to be the same height as your pages. So it's going to be the top bleed, 0.125, plus the bottom bleed, 0.125, plus the height of the book, which for mine is 8.25. And that is 8.5 for the height of the cover. So our final dimensions for the cover are 16.825 wide by 8.5 high. Now that we know the size for our cover, we can go ahead and create our file. I'm going to press the plus sign right here and click the new canvas button. And then we want to change the width and height to be in inches. And as we saw when we did our calculations, we want the width to be 16.825 and the height to be 8.5 inches. 300 dpi is good, and we can do create. So this is the file for the cover. Now you can create your artwork in the file as is right now, or you can import the artwork that you have. But keep in mind the right half is going to be the front of the cover, and the left half is going to be the back. I already have my artwork created, so I'm just gonna drop that in. So I'm going to go to the wrench, insert a photo, here's my art, and it does look like it's a little bit small because I can kind of see a little white border on the side. So I'm just going to resize it a teeny bit bigger. Now you don't want to do a lot of resizing here because first of all, you don't really ever want to resize bigger, but this is just an itty bit so it won't make a huge difference. But secondly, Procreate itself doesn't do great in resizing. Like it's not as good as Photoshop. If you resize stuff in Procreate, it ends up really blurry. So I resized an itty bit, but you don't really want to do more than that. So that's good. And the next thing I want to do is set up my guides. We want to have a guide going down the middle so we know where the front cover is and where the back cover is. And then we also want our guides around the edges since Amazon KDP is going to trim off the edges. So we'll need to leave that little bit of extra art around the edges that can be trimmed off. Let's click the wrench and we're gonna go to canvas, turn the drawing guide on and click edit drawing guide. For the grid size, first we wanna set it to our bleed amount. So the amount we want around the edges for bleed is an eighth of an inch and that is 0.125 inches. So let's click on this 159 pixels, change it to inches and we're gonna do 0.125 and click done. This is going to be our bleed size, is going to be like one of these little grids. So it doesn't line it up perfectly with the edge. So you may have to eyeball it a little bit, but go ahead and pick like what color you want for your guides and make sure you have a new layer for it. You can use pretty much any pen. I'm going to use the fine tip pen. I'm going to estimate about here, this is about one grid space from the edge. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and make a line going all the way across. 
and I'll press and hold so that it straightens it. And this isn't 100% perfect, but that's okay. It's just a guide, so as long as we have it so that, you know, we have that extra art and we don't have anything overlapping that edge that we don't want to get cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that around the other three edges. Now I'm done drawing those guides around the edges, so I'm going to go to the wrench and do edit drawing guide. And now I'm going to turn my grid size all the way up, and this way I'll be able to see where the center line is. So I'll click done, and then I'm just going to trace right down that center line as well. And then I can click the wrench and turn off the drawing guide. Now it's probably hard to see these because it's pretty thin. So let me go ahead and duplicate this layer. Maybe it'll make it a little easier to see. And here's my guides. I have my guide going down the middle and I have my guides going around the edges. And just remember before you export it, you will want to turn off the guides by unchecking that visibility box. But let's go ahead and rename this layer to guides, and then I'll rename this layer to art. Now that we have the setup done, we can go ahead and do the fun stuff, which is the layout. We can start by adding some of the text to the cover, so we'll start with the title of the book. You can go ahead and turn your iPad so that'll be a lot easier to do your text. So first I'm going to add in my title. So I'll go to the wrench and add, add text. And I'm going to put the title of my book here. All right, so I have that done. I'm just going to click out of it so that it's not within the text box anymore. And then I'll click on it. And I'm gonna do edit text. And I'm going to click these two little A's right here, and then now I can edit everything. So I'll pick whatever font I want, and actually I'll change the color too. And then let's go to the rest of our options. I do want the text to be smaller, and I'm going to move it over. So my middle line is right here. It might be kind of hard for you to see on the camera, but this is where the front ends. So if I have my text centered here, then I can actually make my text box go from this end all the way to the center line. And then the text will be centered within the front cover if I make the text box as wide as the front cover. And in my other design that I did in the Photoshop version of this tutorial, I had the text curved, but there isn't really an easy way to do that in Procreate. So I'm just gonna skip that for this. We can add another text for the little byline down here. So I'll go to the wrench, add text. I'm gonna click away so it deselects it. I'm gonna click these two little letters here and then now we can edit it. So I'm going to go to design and make the size smaller and then bring this down. And again, I'm gonna make the text box as wide as the front so that way the text is centered. All right, now one thing that I like to do is add a little drop shadow to the text, a very subtle one, especially like down here where it's kind of a busy background. You don't want the text to get lost in the background. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We'll start with the title actually though. So let's grab the Mouse's Great Discovery text layer and we're gonna slide to the left and do duplicate. And I'm gonna go ahead and hide the top one so that we can see this one. So I'm going to change the color of the text to be a dark green because I want my shadow to be similar color to the background, but darker. And then the next thing we wanna do is rasterize this layer. So I'm gonna click rasterize and that way it's not gonna be text anymore. It's just a bunch of pixels. Then we're going to turn on the layer above it so we'll be able to see our result here. And with this dark layer, I'm going to click the adjustment and do Gaussian blur. And then I'm just going to slide to give it more of a blur. So see, you can see that it gives a little bit of a shadow behind the text. So that looks pretty good and that's just a 4%. So now you can preview what it looks like if we turn this off, see how the text, it doesn't super stand out, but then with the shadow, it definitely gives it a little bit of a pop. So I'll go ahead and do that for the other layer down here. So again, we're just going to grab this 
and duplicate it. We'll hide the one on top for now. And the one on the bottom, we're gonna make it dark green. Then we're going to click this layer and rasterize. Now we can show the white layer again. And with the green layer still selected, we're gonna do the adjustment, Gaussian blur. And then you're just gonna drag over however much you want it to blur. So that looks good for the front cover. And then for the back cover, I'm just gonna show you how you can add some elements to this, but it's going to be different depending on your layout. So for me, since I just naturally have this green bar up here, I can put some text up here. I can use this portion for some text. So kind of look at your layout and see how it can be broken up into sections. So I'll start by just adding a little blurb of text up here. So I'm just going to go to the wrench and do add text. And I'll just type in some text here. And I'll just edit it the same way that I edited the other text. So I won't go through all those details again. The next thing I wanna do is put a summary right here. And because I have kind of a busy background with the trees here, I want to have a box in the back that can just be like very subtle that I can put the text over. So I'm going to make a rectangle and there are multiple ways to make a rectangle in Procreate but I am going to do it with the select tool and have rectangle selected and I'm just going to go like this and then I'm going to pick white and drop it in. I want this to be more subtle than it is now, so I'm going to turn the opacity down. I'm going to click the N here and bring down the opacity. The other thing I wanna do is the trees behind it, you can still see all these lines and it just looks really busy and it's gonna be hard to read the text over it. So I would like for those to be blurred. So what I'm gonna do is go to the background and I'm gonna do my select again and I'm gonna select that same box and then I'm going to copy and paste. So this is a duplicate of just that part of the background, as you can see. So with this right here, I'm going to click the wand and do another Gaussian blur. And if I blur it a little bit, see how it's not quite so stripey, it's much more subtle, and I think it'll be a lot easier to read the text over it. We can now add our text. We wanna make sure we add it on top of our white layer. And then I'm gonna go to the wrench, add text. I'm done with my text now. And the next thing I wanna do is just put my little author picture here and just a little blurb about me. And the barcode is gonna go on the right bottom here. That's where Amazon KDP puts it automatically. So I'm just gonna leave this portion empty and not put anything there. I'm not gonna measure it and all that. I'm just going to leave it like that and then when I upload it, if say the barcode overlaps this a little bit or something, then I can just adjust it in Procreate, save the new file and upload. So I'm just gonna do this just to make it easier on myself. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my picture. So I'm going to click the wrench and do insert a photo. All right, and inserting a photo isn't working, so I just realized that I reached my layer limit. I have one of the older iPads, so I have kind of a small layer limit. So I'm going to merge some of the things that I'm okay with merging. I wanna keep my text editable, so I'd rather not merge those. But for example, I can take this white layer and merge it with the background part here. Maybe I'll merge all of these shadow layers together, the text shadows, because they're not actually editable text, so that should be fine. Now I can insert my photo. So here's my little photo. I'm gonna put it right down here. And then I wanna put like a little white border around it. So the way I'm gonna do that is basically just by creating a white box. And I'm gonna do that the same way that I did the other boxes. So I'll create a new layer, go to the selection, and I have rectangle selected, change the color to white. And of course for you it'll be different, you know, depending on your style, but I'm going to just select a little square right here and drop in my white. It is a little off center, so as long as I have my snapping turned on, then I can just kind of move it around and it'll center it on my picture. And now I have a nice little border. For my blurb here, I just want to put like a colored box behind it 
it so that you can read it easily. Actually, first of all, since I'm short on layers, I'll merge these two together. So the photo and the white. Then I'm gonna make a new layer, which this can be my colored box. So I'm gonna grab my selection tool. I have rectangle and I'm just going to make a little box here. I'll try to leave a little bit of room for the barcode so that can maybe go like right here. Let's get like a nice blue color and drop that in. And I do like to have elements kind of overlapping like that. I think it's kind of fun. So now we can just add our text on there. And again, I'm short on layers, so I think I'll just merge these two together. So anyways, let's go ahead and add our text. One thing that I would like to change is I just want about the artist to be bold text. So I'm just going to click in here and select about the artist. And then I'm going to change that to heavy. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. So I will click done. And if we wanted, we could add a drop shadow also to the blue layer, but you should pretty much know how to do that now. So you can do that if you would like. When you're all done, remember to turn off your guide layer before you export. And I just realized when I merged my shadow layers that the shadow ended up on top of the text. So make sure you check how your layers are arranged if you merge any so that you don't have things on top of things they shouldn't be. When all that's ready, you can click the wrench and share and select PDF and save your file. And then you're ready to upload to Amazon KDP. So once you're ready to upload everything, you can check out my video for how to publish your children's book on Amazon KDP. And in that video, I'll show you how to upload your files and walk you through the whole process. Also, feel free to check out the final steps after publishing video and also how to create your ebook for Amazon KDP. I hope this was helpful. As always, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And you can also email me at heather at heathercash.com. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. And that way I'll know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.